Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking you through the random item spawning that's included with Survival Game Kit V2. Um, there's a few different ways that uh, items can be spawned into the world. So the first one would be the uh, item spawners, which you can find in the blueprints folder, items, and then in the spawners. Um, and here we've got all of our different types of item spawners. So I'm just going to be taking you through um, some of the settings and what you can change. Um, so you can see we've actually got this uh, text above the spawner that tells us what type of uh, item it can spawn. You can see we've actually got ones that can spawn multiple types as well. Um, so uh, if we select one of these we can uh, bring up the settings. Um, we have a few settings to go through. So the first one is spawn item. If this is true it means the spawner can spawn items. If this is false it won't ever spawn an item. So you're going to need to make sure that that's ticked on for it to work. Then we've got spawn item on begin play. That means it will it will spawn an item when the game starts. Um, then we've got spawn item on timer and then the timer length. So every 30 seconds this spawner will um, attempt to spawn a new item. We've got spawner types. So you can see um, if I add a new one we actually get a new entry up here. And we can set any type uh, we like on here. Um, we can also remove them just by selecting the little down arrow and hitting delete. Um, but these are the types of items that this spawner will uh, spawn into the world. Then we've got always spawn item and always um, spawn attempts. What this does is um, it will always try to spawn a new item in the world, um, no matter uh, how rare the item might be. Um, and then the attempts is how many times it will try to do that. So if you have one item that the spawner can spawn and it's extremely rare, um, it will try and spawn it 25 times and if it fails, it will just stop until it's next, um, if, if it's running on timer, until it's next timer uh, runs out. Um, I recommend keeping this uh, at a minimum, sorry, at a maximum 25 because um, the higher this value, the more work that has to be done to um, calculate whether it should or not um, spawn a new item. Um, and then lastly, we've got attach item to actor. What this does is um, if we had the item spawner like in a drawer or something like that, we could put the item spawner in there and we could use this little um, dropper to select the drawer, uh, for example. And what would happen is the... Um, the spawner and the item that it spawns will actually move or attach to that drawer. So you could have it that so your player could open a drawer and the item would actually move with the drawer. So that's a, a helpful little tool for that. Um, next, I'm going to show you uh, where we can actually set um, the items that can be spawned and how rarely uh, they're spawned. So to do that, we'll go blueprints, item list, then to our um, item spawner list here. And I'll just bring that over here. Now you can see not every item that's included in the system is in this list. That's intentional. Um, if you want to add more, you can, and I'll show you how to do that now. Um, but I'll just go through some of the settings. So our first, um, I'm just going to select our rifle um, here. And in our settings, we've got the item. So this is the item that will be spawned. Um, we've got it set to the M4. Then we've got the min and max amount. Um, this is for stackable items. Um, if your item isn't stackable like the M4, then you should just keep this as uh, one for both min and max. Then we have spawn chance. So the way this works is when an item spawner tries to spawn an item, it basically does um, a dice roll um, with a value of one, uh, zero to one. The higher we have this value, um, the more likely it is to spawn. So if this is set to one and the um, item spawner tries to spawn this item, it will always spawn it. Um, if it's set to zero, it will never spawn the item. So we've got it set to 0.1, so 10% of the time that it tries to spawn the M4, it actually will spawn it. Um, then lastly, we've got our spawner types. So this is where we actually set um, that any item spawner that's using the all tag or that's using the weapons tag. So um, these are the what we set in here. Um, so any spawner with either one of these tags um, will be able to spawn this item. Um, and again, if you want to add you know, a new type, say you wanted this to spawn also for medical spawners, you could do that. And then if you wanted to delete, you can just uh, click the little down arrow and hit delete. Um, if you wanted to add a new entry to the list, you can just hit the add button up here. Um, we could name this, um, trying to think what isn't on here. We could do health drink, like that. 
Um, we set the data table to the master item list and row name to, um, I'll use the health drink. Then um, the health drink isn't stackable, so I'm just gonna leave min and max um, to one. Spawn chance, I want this to spawn fairly often, so I'm gonna set this to 0 0.5. And then spawner type, um, I recommend keeping all here for any um, recipe you put, just so that if you want an item spawner that spawns all types of items, you can use that. So I'm gonna leave all, uh, sorry, all in there, and I'm gonna also add the medical one. So now our medical item spawners will be able to spawn um, our new item. Next, we're gonna go over the random item spawning set in, settings in um, containers. So if I go over to um, our containers over here, we actually have um, uh, some examples that have random item spawning set up on uh, this side, uh, but these ones are disabled. So we'll select these and I'll just go through the settings here. So to access these settings, there's a few ways you can do it. If it's in the world like this one is, we can just select it. Then over in the panel over here, we can select the master inventory. And then in um, our settings here, you wanna find random item spawning. And you'll see we've actually got all of the same settings we had on the item spawner, but they're now for our um, inventory or container um, that we've selected here. So we can set those settings in here, or we can actually go to uh, this chest's blueprint. To do that, I'm just gonna, um, Actually, we'll go to it in the blueprints folder. Build parts, furniture, and we'll find the wood chest. So I can select the master inventory here as well and find the random item spawning and set in here. Something to keep in mind, if you set stuff in here, it will affect all of the chests. So um, if you only want it to affect one specific chest, then I recommend you do it um, by selecting the chest in the world instead. Um, so quickly going through these settings again, they're very similar to the um, ones we just went through. Um, again, you must have random items, uh, spawn random items ticked on. Um, and then we've got whether we start, whether we spawn the items on the game start, um, if we spawn the items on a timer, and um, whether or not we always try to spawn an item. Um, a new option is clear inventory when items spawn. This basically means that any items that are in the chest, it will delete them and spawn a new item to replace them. Then we've just got our spawner timer length. So this is how long in seconds um, the uh, chest will try and spawn new items. Um, then we've got min and max item amount. This is basically um, how many random items our chest will try and spawn. So it, at the moment, it will spawn anywhere from one to three uh, different items. Um, something to keep in mind, if you don't have always spawn items ticked on, sometimes they won't spawn items. Like some sometimes, even if you've got it set to a min amount of one, um, that just means it will try to spawn one item. That doesn't mean it will always spawn item. If you always want it to spawn an item, you do need to tick always spawn items. Um, then we've just got our spawn types again. Um, as I explained earlier, this is how you control what items uh, the chest can spawn. And then we've got our uh, max always spawn attempts. As I explained earlier, this is to do with the always spawn items uh, option. Um, so there's one last thing I wanna cover, and that might be you may wanna create a new um, spawn type. So I'll just quickly show you how to do that now. So to add a new uh, spawn type, we're just gonna go to the blueprints folder and we'll search for E underscore um, recipe and we're gonna open up recipe categories. And in here, you can see all of the different categories that we already have um, that we can choose from. Um, and if you wanna add a new one, you just hit new. Um, we can call this new um, category, like that. Now, if we um, make sure you save it. Now, if we uh, go to our spawn types, you can click the little arrow and you can see we've got our new category. And then if you wanted um, some of your new items to use this, again, you can just set your spawner type in here um, and that will all uh, work straight away. So that's pretty much it for random item spawning. Um, hopefully you guys found this helpful and if you have any questions, please leave a comment. Thank you for watching.